Hi, third graders. So let's talk about another way that we can represent and solve multiplication problems. And that is multiplication as equal groups. Okay. Um, and when we think of multiplication, we need to think about the multiplication sign. Um, and when we say the multiplication sign, we can say equal groups. And we can make this with our hands. So this would be three equal groups of five. Okay. Now the factors tell us different things. The first factor tells us how many groups to make. And then the second factor tells us how many to put in each group. So we have how many groups is three, how many to put in each group is five, and then our product is going to give us how many we have in all. Okay. So now let's draw a picture because when we are solving a multiplication equation using equal groups, it's really, really helpful to draw a picture. So my three groups of five, three tells me how many groups to make. One, two, three. So we have one, two, three groups. And I'm going to put five in each group. Okay, so now I have three groups of five. I have three groups with five in each group. Okay. Now I can just count to find out how many I have in all. So if I know I have five in this one, I have another five in this one, and I have another five in my last group. So that's what the repeated addition sentence would look like for our picture of equal groups. So five plus five equals 10, 10 plus five equals 15. And if we were to count how many x's we have in all of our groups, we would get a product of 15. So when we have three groups of five, three groups with five in each, we get a product of 15, or we have 15 in all. Okay, so go ahead and try the problems on the next slide using equal groups.